Yep, welcome back to another episode of Sip or Drip. I go by the name Jay and I got my lovely wife, Cal. And we are the Browns Are Us. Okay. If you guys haven't seen the title already, you already know what we're about to do. We are about to review the candy. Is it candy? Shandy. Shandy. The Shandy <laughs> Carib. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. The Shandy. I don't know why I keep saying candy. I don't know. Yeah, I guess because it looks like juice and sweet. But it's the Shandy Carib. It's actually made in Trinidad. Kels will be able to give you guys a little bit more info because she is actually Trinidadian. <laughs> Alright, guys. So I'm going to let her explain what the Shandy, not candy, Carib is. So Shandy is exactly what it's called. It's a Shandy. For those of you who don't know, Shandy is actually a light beer that has, it's mixed with a flavored beverage. Okay. So I, I know it's really popular in places like Europe. Mm -hmm. So um, typically it's just like a light beer. Usually it's like 50-50 mix. And most people like to mix it with like lemon or lime, um, oh. soda. So that's what shandy really means. But this particular one that we're reviewing is the classic shandy that's made in Trinidad. This is made from the Carib Brew Brew Brewer Brewer. Say the word. Brewery. Brewery. <laughs> The Carib, whatever he said. Okay. So, <laughs> it's a really light, flavorful drink. Um, I think it's really good for people who are out in a social setting and they don't really drink alcohol because this is basically like nothing. Like, yeah. how much is that percentage? 1.2% alcohol by volume, which is like, um, probably like this much. <laughs> like, like, yeah, like this much. Alcohol. It does like you know you, when you use um uh, eye drop. Just <laughs> alcohol, one point two percent. Yeah. So well, it does say here flavored extra light okay. beer. So if you're a lightweight, if you don't really feel like drinking, you're in a social setting, maybe you're the designated driver. This would be your best bet. Now, um, Shandy does come in four different flavors. This one is the Sorrel flavor. I love Sorrel. It sorrel comes is me. in ginger, lime, and the fourth flavor is something called Portugal. So Portugal is a <laughs> citrus fruit in Trinidad. Uh, basically, it's a hybrid between a regular orange and a mandarin. So it's very close to like clementines. Okay. But it doesn't have any seeds in it. So that's mm. called a Portugal. That's the fourth flavor. Unfortunately, the only flavors that we have in Canada is the sorrel and the ginger. I'm not a big ginger fan, but the sorrel one is really, really good. Okay. For those of you who don't know what sorrel is, Jay can explain that because he's like the sorrel king. All right, guys. So sorrel is actually a it's hibiscus, right? It's a hibiscus plant which has um, a nice flower at the end of the plant, right? So in Jamaica, we actually have sorrel as well, but we don't. We might have sh we, yeah, we do have shandy, but it's imported from Trinidad, right? So sorrel is a it's a plant. Uh, the flower of the plant they dry it out and they basically um, make drinks with it like I make drinks in the Christmas time it's basically um, hibiscus as I said before and we make it as tea drink rum mixed with rum all types of things but sorrel is boom <laughs> and he makes really really good sorrel all right so you got this at the I got it at the store, store. Uh, I believe it was Twelve, thirteen, ninety-nine, something like that. Um, for the six pack. For the six pack, correct. And you know, you can't go wrong with a nice, light little, fruity beer for each and all, not just the females, right? Yeah. So it's for really any occasion. It goes really, really good with roti or doubles. Mm -hmm. Really good. But if that's not your type of food, it also goes really good with like cheese platters and fruits and stuff like that. It's very light. The, I feel like this is like 
a really really good summer drink to cool you down and it's very refreshing mm -hmm. so let's get into the specs what do you think about the bottle so the bottle i like it it's cute it's pretty um the wording uh i don't know if you guys can see it here let's see if i can get you guys to see it but it's picking up kelsey's face instead but the wording is nice the bottle i like just the red gives it a really nice color like it looks really good really nice i would say the bottle i would give it a i'll give it a nine not being biased but i'm gonna give it a nine since it's a caribbean beer all right and i agree with jay i really like the high intensity cherry color it's very red so like do you guys see that it looks like candy in a bottle yes it's really really attractive like if you pass this in a beer store you're probably gonna wonder like what is this right mm -hmm. um i like that it has like a whole island vibe with the palm trees and it shows you the sorrel right here which is the hibiscus so you know exactly what you're getting in the bottle you're not confusing it with anything else the only thing is i feel like it is a little bit outdated it was made in 1985 and i don't think that they changed the label since then so it does look kind of old school but you know what maybe 20 years from now we'll learn to appreciate mm -hmm. older labels like this so with that being said i'll give it a 10. i'll give the bottle a 10. all right so let's, let's get into this let's open it up all righty shandy carol if you guys are new to the channel welcome if you guys have been here give this video a like don't forget to subscribe if you're new and let's have a sip oh I taste the sorrow mm. very light it almost tastes like soda yes it doesn't really it, I honestly don't taste the alcohol in it very light i get like a slight beer taste closer to the end it's very very slight no very light tea. yeah very light it just tastes <laughs> it like it is extremely light it's nice if you're in like a i guess that's the reason why trinidad the islands kind of drink this because if you're in a warm climate you could kind of have a cold one and just sip and just You know what I mean? Like, yeah, this this is it's it's yeah. nice, very sweet. It is sweet, very sweet. But I taste the sorrel, I taste the fizz. I don't really taste much alcohol because it is one point two percent. I don't think you could taste. It. As I say, use the eye dropper. Just boop. <laughs> that's it. So, I would give this. I give it a sip. I would definitely give it a sip. And rating out of ten, I would give it a seven. Seven. I need a little bit more alcohol, so I'll give it a seven. But it is definitely a sip on a nice summer, warm, beautiful day. Get a cold one. Boom. How about yourself, babe? Nice. It's definitely a sip for me. Um, I would say I'd give it an eight. Yeah. Okay. I give it an eight, and I agree. It should have a little bit more alcohol, but at the same time, I feel like non-alcoholic drinkers oh, don't yes, have a yes, wide variety yes, of right. things to drink right. and i think this is a great i change it i change it i give it a nine for that for that particular point right there i give it a nine so it is a sip it's a sip so that's a sip for both of us guys thank you guys for watching do not forget to like share and subscribe we're trying to get to 500 uh subscriber guys let's get this video out help us out all right and with that don't forget to Follow your heart, take your brain with you, and smile. Peace out, y'all.